The locked on road to the NHL trade deadline continues. The San Jose Sharks make the biggest, most anticipated move of the trade deadline, sending Timo Meyer to the New Jersey Devils for uh, a few first round picks and a boatload of prospects. J.D. Young of Locked On Sharks is here to talk about it from a San Jose Sharks perspective. And J.D., uh, we were all waiting for this deal. We knew Timo Meyer was likely to be traded. How do you feel about what the Sharks got in return? Uh, underwhelming, I think, is where you have to start with this pick. Um, the Sharks, they set out they wanted a first-round pick, check, and then they wanted a grade-A prospect, and they didn't get that grade-A prospect especially from a team like New Jersey, which has a ton of high, high quality prospects. Um, you look at Dawson Mercer. Who's, I know he's playing in the NHL right now. You have uh, you have Hughes, you have, which I know is unavailable. Uh, Nemec, you have, there's a bunch of different guys. You have Alexander Holt, who is a great A prospect, probably slipped down to a great B prospect at this point. Uh, but they got none of those guys. Um, and... Timo Meyer was the best player available at the trade deadline, and this feels very. This feels a quality over quantity type of trade for Mike Greer, uh, where you're just hoping to get something that hopefully works out instead of getting something that you think that is going to work out for Timo Meyer, who's just entering his prime right now and is going to be a 40 goal scorer for the um, next few years for whatever team he's playing for, if it's New Jersey or uh, if they ended up end up not being able to re-sign him in the future, but. Timo Meyer is in his prime right now and is a 40 goal scorer. And you got a lot of a wish and a prayer. Out of all those wishes and prayers, what gives you the most hope for optimism? If you're, if you're a San Jose Sharks fan. Uh, I mean, I guess you have to start with uh, other than the picks, which are probably going to be, you know, mid 20, mid to late twenties, depending on how the devils do um, in the drive, I think, you, or in the, in, sorry, in the uh, playoffs, et cetera, et cetera. But uh, Shakir uh, Mukumadulin um, has to be, I guess, the bright spot out of these. Uh, he was a first round pick in the 2020 draft, picked 20th overall, um, six foot four defenseman, 190 pounds. Um, you know, he's, been playing in the KHL last couple of years has has put up some points, um, but it you know again he was a late first round pick right at, right now. And what else do you expect the Sharks to do between now and Friday's trade deadline? Uh, there's rumors of Kevin LeBanc being available right now. Um, I would assume Nick Benino is probably gone. It's probably going to be whatever else the Sharks can try to get rid of. There's also talk of them potentially adding a couple guys who maybe aren't fits with other teams. Uh, but yeah, the Sharks are still going to be active trying to, um, you know, start their actual, the real, real uh, rebuild under Mike Greer here. And, you know, you sounded disappointed at, uh, about this trade. There's no question about that. I mean, how do you grade Mike Greer so far on this particular deal? Uh, I mean, you have to go with, uh, I mean, like a D and F type of situation, especially when you heard some of the other trades that were potentially out there uh, with teams giving up a first round pick and a, a top prospect or multiple first round picks. Yes, the Sharks got multiple first round picks, but uh, in this deal. But again, there isn't that one player who you feel like, oh, yeah, this guy is going to be, um, you know, part of your core going forward. And why do you feel he went for this deal as opposed to, you know, holding out for that grade A prospect? I wonder if teams started to drop out of it and then the devil, you know, because you had Toronto was rumored in. Of course, they got out with the Ryan O'Reilly trade. Uh, Vegas was supposedly rumored into it. They don't have anything to give up worthwhile. Um, the Carolina Hurricanes were into it and apparently they were out of the deal, out of the trade mix last uh, night. So it feels like, it was down to the Devils and the Sharks, and that was the only uh, team available for them to actually be uh, kind of work out this type of deal. And um, so, yeah, I think that was, they kind of ran out of dance partners at this point. Yeah, I, I guess all those early trades before the trade deadline uh, affected that. So, all right. Well, uh, thank you very much, JD, for uh, stopping by. And be sure to check out Locked On Sharks for more on the San Jose Sharks. Big trade and keep it dialed in to Locked On NHL all along the road to the NHL trade deadline. This is the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day.